Hello, I'm Joe Muscolino, and I'm going to be showing you palpation of the pectoralis minor muscle. The pectoralis minor runs from the coracoid process of the scapula to ribs 3, 4, and 5. To find the coracoid process, we first palpate the clavicle. The lateral or distal clavicle has a concavity. We find that concavity and we drop immediately inferior off of it. And here is the coracoid process right here. From here, there are three slips for the pectoralis minor muscle, going over to rib three, rib four, and rib five. Now we can try to palpate the pectoralis minor through the pectoralis major with the pectoralis minor relaxed. If her pec major is tight, we won't be able to do this. However, if the pec major is loose, and especially if the pec minor is tight, which is fairly common, we can feel the pec minor fairly easily through the pec major. And we always do it by going perpendicular to the direction of fibers of the muscle. However, to engage the pec minor to make it stand out and contract so it's harder and more easily palpable, we would ask the client to do an action of the muscle. The pec minor can protract and depress the scapula. However, the pec major overlying the pec minor also does those actions, so that doesn't help us. So what we're going to do is ask the client to create downward rotation of the scapula at the scapulocostal joint. And we can do that by having her have her hand relaxed in the back of her body, in the small of her back, and if she lifts her hand posteriorly away from her body, that extension plus the position of adduction of the humerus at the glenohumeral joint will couple with downward rotation of the scapula at the scapulocostal joint. This is called scapulohumeral rhythm. Relax there. So what I'll have you do when I ask you to, find the coracoid process again, go ahead and lift away. And now I can easily palpate the first slip of pec minor through the pec major, going to rib three, relax. I'm going to move over a bit here again, thank you. I can feel the second slip going to the fourth rib and relax. And I'll move over a bit more again, again, there we go. And I can feel the third slip going to rib five and you can relax. So to palpate the pec minor through the pec major to just review the steps, we find the clavicle, we find the concavity of the lateral or distal clavicle, we drop immediately inferior, we find the coracoid process, we have the client's hand in the small of her back, lift away, and we palpate perpendicular to the fibers of the muscle. We go from coracoid process until we feel it end at a rib, relax, again, and we can do the same thing for all three slips of the muscle, relax there. I'm Joe Muscolino, and that's palpation of the pectoralis minor muscle. Mm -hmm.